I will use my tea tree and lemon facial mask again from Sensasia Botanicals. I'm a hawk now, a prettier hawk. Let's wait until it's dry. Meanwhile, I will. What? What should I do? Sing a song, but my voice is not good lately because. Yeah, I'm so stressed, so yeah, my voice is not good lately. Maybe next time I will make content, sing, but not now.
Let's talk about diet again. What kind of diet suitable for you? Let's talk about clean eating diet. Similar to the Mediterranean diet, this is more of a lifestyle than a diet. It is more than just the food you eat, but how you eat. Being environmentally conscious, encouraging regular movement, choosing local and seasonal foods, and mindfulness regarding hunger and fullness as well as portion sizes. There are no particular macro rules. You can pick how much protein, carbs, and fat you want to eat based on what you feel works for you. It can be keto, paleo, or high carb as long as the carbs are not from sugar or refined and heavily processed greens. What to eat? Organic fruits and vegetables when possible. Grass-fed meats, organic poultry, pasture-raised eggs, wild cow, omega-3 rich fish like wild Alaskan salmon and wild Pacific halibut, nuts, seeds, healthy fats, legumes, and whole grains. We should avoid sugar, refined grains, trans fats, junk food, soda, preservatives, fillers, added colors, blenders, emulsifiers, and fat replacers and stabilizers. Supplement your diet with a multivitamin and curcumin. This is probably the diet with the broadest variety of food, but there's no perfect diet to ensure you get all of your micronutrients. So taking a multivitamin is like an insurance policy to fill in a nutritional caps. Adding in a superfood spice like turmeric and source bonus immune supporting compounds. We would make sure to recommend that curcumin be taken with a meal that contains both fat and black pepper for improved absorption. Paleo diet. Paleo diet considered a lower carbohydrate, higher protein diet. The paleo or primal diet encourages us to get back to the diet of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. If you could pick it, pull it, kill it, or it had a mother, then you can eat it. There's nothing from a box, a bag, a jar, or a can. What to eat? Fruits, vegetables, grass-fed, grass-finished meat, organic poultry, pasture-raised eggs, wild caught fish, raw nuts and seeds, healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, ghee, or gluten-free spirits, low sugar wine, low sugar hard cider. What to avoid sugar, grains, dairy, legumes, peanuts, beer, oats, corn, quinoa, potatoes, processed and refined food, trans fat, and most alcohol. Pros, cutting process and refined food. Sugar and junk food is good for overall health, helps control blood sugar, reduces your risk for heart disease, and is very satiating so you may eat less, which can help with weight loss. Lowered levels of systemic inflammation can be achieved on this real food diet of our Paleolithic ancestors. Cons: People tend to go too heavy on meat and fruit and not consume enough vegetables. High meat diets are linked to an increased risk 
or colon cancer. While fruit is healthy and filled with fiber and antioxidants, too much at one time can cause elevated blood sugar levels. Also, the lack of whole grains and legumes removes important sources of fibers and B vitamins. Supplement your diet with ubiquinol and acacia fiber. Paleo diets are often low in fiber as most people turn to copious amounts of animal protein for their meals. Acacia fiber is an excellent prebiotic which feeds the prebiotics living inside the gut. This will help to contribute to a healthier gut microbiome which ultimately helps to maintain a healthy immune system balance in the body. Ubiquinol, the active form of CoQ10, is used for energy production by every cell in the body and helps to scavenge free radicals that can get produced from too much meat consumption. Plant based diet What eats beans, nuts, seeds, fruit, vegetables, greens, dairy, eggs, and soy? What to avoid? Beef, chicken, fish, shellfish, pork, pork, lamb, turkey, game meat, and any animal protein product. If done correctly, a lacto ovo or meaning it's eggs and milk, vegetarian diet is high in fiber. From vegetables, fruit, whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds, and provides sufficient protein and healthy fat. The absence of fatty fish makes this diet very low in omega-3 fats. This diet can also be low in protein, especially collagen, is if very grain heavy. Many people who follow this type of diet follow the mac and cheese or pizza style diet, which is high in refined carbohydrate, grains, and dairy and insufficient in vegetables. A plant-based diet that focuses on vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, legumes, and whole grains is very healthy and anti-inflammatory. Aim to get more servings of vegetables and legumes than greens. Consider sprouting whole grains, legumes, nuts, and seeds to help with digestibility and absorption of nutrients. Supplement your diet with flax oil and iron. Lacto ovo vegetarian diets do not include any fish or land animals for protein and can be very low in both omega-3 and iron. Supplementing with omega-3 will have the necessary omega-3s to help improve the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, lowering it to a more ideal ratio of 4-1. Supplementing with iron is important for iron stores and energy levels. Plan correctly, this diet is high in vitamin C, rich fruits and vegetables, which will help iron absorption. The Mediterranean Diet Similar to a clean diet, the Mediterranean diet isn't really a diet but a lifestyle. Hailing from the regions that border the Mediterranean Sea is a common food, combination of food, exercise, and community. There's a wide array of produce, proteins, and healthy fat. What to eat? Fruit, vegetables, whole grains, extra virgin olive oil, meatless meals, fish, beans, nuts, legumes, one glass red wine. What to eat in moderation? Cheese, poultry, eggs, yogurt. What to eat rarely? Red meat. What to avoid? Sugar sweetened beverages, added sugars, processed meats, refined grains, refined oils, and other highly processed food. Though there is not one defined Mediterranean diet, this way of eating is generally rich in healthy plant foods and relatively lower in animal foods, with a focus on omega-3 rich fish and seafood. The Mediterranean lifestyle also involves regular physical activity, sharing meals with other people, and enjoying life. Name one of the top diets to follow to reduce risk of cardiovascular disease. There's not much to criticize, it's very well balanced. 
Its meal should have a protein, fat, and variety of colorful produce to ensure balance and a diverse intake of vitamins and minerals. Wild caught fish should be consumed at least twice a week. Focus on trying to maximize intake of anti-inflammatory compounds. Supplement your diet with vitamin D3 or K2 liposomal spray and AGCG. As this diet contains one of the broadest variety of foods, the chosen supplements are for an improved variety of foods with a wide range of polyphenolic, polyphenolic compounds. The Whole30 This is a pretty strict elimination diet that lasts for 30 days. By eliminating top inflammatory foods, you help decrease inflammation in the body and reset cravings for sugar and junk food. You also do not wait yourself for the entire month. What to eat? Vegetables, fruit, meat, chicken, turkey, pork, fish, selfish, eggs, natural fat, seeds, herbs, spices, coffee, tea, sparkling water, juices, and kombucha. What to avoid? Grains, dairy, alcohol, sugar, legumes, soy, MSG, carrageenan, sulfates. Also, no healthy food baked goods like pancakes made with almond flour or paleo banana bread. After 30 days, you reintroduce one new food from the avoid list to see if you have an inflammatory reaction and decide if you can safely consume it or are better off without it. No waking yourself. Learn to get in touch with your hunger and fullness signals. No calorie counting. Excluding whole grains and legumes can keep fiber content low. Planning and food preparation can be time-consuming. Dining out is difficult. It's 30 day plan that can act like a jump start. But most people return to their previous diet after the 30 days and the aches and pains and inflammatory symptoms return. What's your plan once the 30 days is over? We think it can be particularly useful as a reboot or a great way to identify food sensitivities or allergies. Supplement your diet with calcium and time release B100. Because this diet contains no dairy or grains, it will be much lower in dietary calcium and multiple B vitamins. As grains are excellent sources of B1, B2, B3, and folate, which are important for energy metabolism. We recommend a broad spectrum be complex to help with energy metabolism. Plant-based keto diet. This diet is plant-based version of the popular ketogenic diet. The conventional ketogenic diet is meat and dairy heavy, both of which can be inflammatory. Since it is low carb, no dairy protein, and high fat, you are able to transition your body from being a sugar burner to becoming a fat burner and put your body into a state of ketosis, just like a conventional ketogenic diet but with a plant-based twist. Intermittent fasting can help get into ketosis faster. What to eat? This diet leverages the best of a plant-heavy vegetarian diet, getting its fats from coconut, avocado, olive oil, nuts, and seeds and protein from nuts, seeds, occasional wet cod, fish, pasteurized eggs, carbohydrates from non-starchy veggies, and some low-sugar fruit like berries. What to avoid? Greens, meat, poultry, dairy, sugar, beans, and soy. This diet contains a lot of anti-inflammatory, fibrous vegetables. Switching from being a sugar burner to a fat burner will promote the loss of excess body fat. which can lead to weight loss. Consuming fewer carbohydrates help with blood sugar control and insulin production, reducing insulin resistance. Higher fat and fiber diets can keep you fuller for longer, which will lead to overall reduced calorie intake resulting in weight loss. The keto flu can happen in the first week of transitioning to a low-carb, high-fat diet as the body is excreting excess water and along with that, electrolytes. During this time, it's very important to stay hydrated 
and add additional salt to the diet as well as supplement with magnesium or take Epsom salt bath. Supplement your diet with selenium and vitamin C. Ketorian, ketotarian diets rely on nuts and seeds for protein and fat, many of which are high in vitamin E. Vitamin E needs vitamin C for its antioxidant properties to prevent excess vitamin E from oxidizing and becoming pro-inflammatory. Selenium is a powerful antioxidant that fights oxidative stress. It is also an essential mineral that is important for thyroid health. Flexitarian diet People who follow the flexitarian diet consider themselves vegetarians most of the time. This diet focuses on not so much on restricting foods but on replacing your usual intake of butchers' favorites with non-meat protein sources such as tofu, legumes, beans, lentils, nuts, and seeds. Research has found that vegetarian diets are generally heart-healthy thanks to lower intakes of saturated fats and cholesterol and more fiber and plant proteins. This diet is easy to follow. Some of its followers simply skip beef, poultry, and pork most of the time. That being said, this diet may be too flexible for some dieters accustomed to setting calorie of micronutrients level and food journaling. Supplement your diets with a quality probiotic and zinc. A flexitarian diet is a broad diet that doesn't make specific recommendations about macronutrient intake but does promote a plant-based diet with most of protein coming from plants and treating animal protein more as a condiment or just consumed a few times a week. This type of diet will benefit from probiotics as it doesn't make specific recommendations about consuming fermented foods like kimchi, kombucha, kefir, and miso. This diet is low in animal protein, a good source of zinc, which is important for a healthy immune function, normal healing, fertility, cord, leak synthesizing DNA, and proper growth during childhood. The Pescatarian Diet Low veggies and seafood, the Pescatarian lab may be for you. The Pescatarian diet is a mostly vegetarian diet with fish and shellfish as the only animal protein foods. High in fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. What to eat? Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes, nuts, seeds, fish, shellfish, like shrimp, lobster, and crab, and mollusks, clam, oyster, and mussels. What to avoid? Beef, pork, chicken, turkey, lamb, game meat, possibly dairy, and eggs. Plant-based diets are high in fiber and anti-inflammatory antioxidants and phytochemicals, which are associated with reduced risk for diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Well-caught oily fish like whelk Alaskan salmon, whelk Pacific halibut tuna, and small oily fish like herring, sardines, and mackerel are rich in anti-inflammatory omega-3 fats, as well as zinc, selenium, and B12. It eliminates refined and processed food. Eliminating all land animals may lead to some nutritional deficiencies, such as iron, B12, zinc, and calcium. Some fish may be high in mercury and PCBs, such as tilefish, king mackerel, shark, and less species of tuna, and should be avoided if pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant. Okay, that is the information. I will clean my face first now. I will clean my face and use my face cream for my acne blemish. I will not look like a hawk anymore now.
Okay, I already cleaned my face. Yeah, I don't use facial wash, but I will use. cleansing Okay, I will use my Cochuasa cream use all my cream yeah. I will buy again in the future but I will use my PSA 10% first one by one so if you use one product it's already yeah empty box you can buy new one later but finish another product first so you can see the result of this product okay okay see you next time let's talk about diets again and let's choose what kind of diet which is suitable for me i haven't choose I just read the information first tomorrow I will choose the right diet for me and I will remember what to eat and what not to eat okay